really good looking cabbage we're growing in here. Uh, lettuce has uh, about reached the end of its uh, giving ability there. Uh, we've uh, pulled one already. We're letting this one go to seed. I don't know if you can see that up high there, but uh, a little bit. There you go. Uh, actually trying to let that one go to seed and um, we've got some basil we put in one of the uh, lettuce cups um, as you see we've got some uh, Swiss chard back here coming up uh, you'll notice the strap here in the middle uh, the uh, strap was due to uh, a weight problem we had once the uh, roots got uh, matted up at the bottom of the pipe, it uh, got so heavy that the, uh, the, the four inch PVC tubing uh, actually started to bow in the center. So we wound up having to uh, basically put a board underneath the uh, three pipes and then a ratcheting strap uh, like you would use. Uh, in the back of a truck or something to tie cargo down uh, to secure that and keep it uh, up in the middle there. So we um, have some more Swiss char down on this end here. Uh, as you can see, the stuff actually got quite leggy, but it's uh, finally really leafing up here. Uh, well, we'll probably go ahead and uh, harvest some of this pretty soon. And there's, of course, more. Uh, leaves coming up at the bottom there um, Unfortunately the <laughs> tomato plant uh, As you can see has quite taken over the end down here, so uh, It's just about uh, Giving us uh, about as much of a hard time as we could get from it uh, choking out these uh, other Swiss chard plants, so uh, we will have to figure something out there, uh, whether it be pulling the tomato plant out, which uh, unfortunately has not produced anything for us, uh, except for one uh, tomato, which has been, uh, let's see if we can get back in there. There it is. Uh, that one tomato is the only one we've gotten to come up. And, uh, it uh, just does not seem to want to get right. Um, I do believe it is a lighting issue because we are only running uh, four 40 watt bulbs uh, on this end. So uh, it just does not give out enough uh, light for the uh, fruiting. Uh, we are running a uh, 2700 and a 6500. Uh, color bulb in each one of the uh, lighting fixtures uh, that's on both ends so uh, for the lettuce and the cabbage end uh, it seems to do really well um, unfortunately the we've, we've figured out that the the, uh, the fruiting plants uh, like the tomatoes and also uh, the broccoli back there uh, they just have not uh, Put any kind of fruit off whatsoever uh, now they're growing quite well they've actually gone up and uh, trying to start to grow into the flooring or the uh, ceiling above the basement and into the insulation so uh, these are gonna have to be trimmed back um, but uh, all in all uh, you know we've been pretty impressed with the system uh, peppers you know here's uh, what we keep getting is these flowers um, that unfortunately uh, never fruit up. Uh, we've got two in here. One's being choked out back here in the middle. Don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, but uh, the tomatoes have really choked out everything on this end. Um, we will either take the tomatoes out soon uh, and, and try to just do lettuces, uh, greens, the cabbages do really well, the Swiss chards. Um, we're also going to be making some more lighting um, using some more of these guys, uh, these uh, 65 waters, uh, 2700K, 
uh, seem to put off a lot more light um, and they're not using a whole lot more wattage for the light uh, that they're putting out uh, I'm turn this light back on and uh, that'll help for you to see the uh, grow beds we had uh, started trying to uh, seed up some lettuce in the smaller gravel but uh, we've had a problem with uh, that lettuce not wanting uh, well I guess it wants to grow but um, the water and uh, I don't know, it's, it's like it just kind of drowns them out they, they don't ever uh, get to full full, uh, full size there uh, the, the lettuce that we have been able to get to grow uh, which we were growing up here in the, uh, the tubes uh, did well but we started that in dirt and transplanted those after they had already developed uh, a bit of a root system uh, we'll probably go back to that method uh, and then try to use of course the uh, the grow beds uh, this was going to be a third grow bed we just have not gotten around to it uh, and this one was being used to uh, try to seed up some more greens but uh, just hasn't done very well so uh, of course, part of that reason is the lighting on the lower level, uh, which we're just now getting around to um, taking care of. Uh, put a little, little fan in here. Uh, it hasn't done too much uh, helping move, move air through. Uh, we'll probably put uh, a larger box type fan uh, in the room, maybe mounted on the wall down here somewhere. Uh, eventually, this, uh, this quarter of the basement will be completely used for aquaponics. Uh, here's the uh, 110 gallon fish tank that uh, has, let's see, I think we're, we've got about six uh, koi in there right now. Uh, it's quite hard to see them. Uh, occasionally you'll get one that comes out. Uh, there, there's none over, you know, five or six inches long. Uh, we bought them small at the pet store. Hopefully they'll get larger. Uh, just did throw some, some feed in there for them, so switching them over to a floating food. It's a little bit larger food uh, as opposed to the very small pellet goldfish food that we were using. Um, hopefully we will be tying this 55-gallon uh, system in. Uh, not sure exactly what type of uh, um, grow system that we'll use in there, but uh, would like to uh, start using that as maybe a tilapia breeder or uh, trout, something like that. Not sure what we're going to use yet. Uh, my basement doesn't get above about 65, um, 68, somewhere in there um, during the summer. And the uh, winter time, it stays maybe uh, no colder than about 55 or so. Uh, the water temperatures won't be too hard to keep uh, in the range that we need for the uh, tropical fish but uh, we believe we may have better luck with our area with uh, either the trout or uh, even bluegill so uh, still trying to decide on that uh, anyway so we've got uh, kind of back up here the uh, like I say the 55 gallon area fish tank uh, we'll tie that in somehow uh, we've got the 110 gallon we've got the two-tier aquaponic system there's our uh, air um, air compressor there for the uh, fil air, air filtration for the uh, system. We've got uh, lower end is uh, our grow beds, uh, and the upper side is our NFT or nutrient film technique uh, tubing. And um, you know we're pretty pleased. You know it's been an experiment so far. Uh, lighting has been an issue. Uh, because we just, uh, you know, new to this thing uh, over the last few months, so uh, we're, we're we're coming along. We're we're figuring it out, uh, getting a lot of tips from people on the internet, and hopefully, uh, you know, eventually, uh, we're going to have this whole whole area down here. Uh, forget the, uh, the the messiness, but uh, we got some more tanks and uh, maybe. Um, this, this whole corner down here will eventually have have tanks and and smaller grow beds and that type of thing so uh, but uh, it's just a, a work in progress and uh, you know hey we'll keep you updated and uh, hopefully everybody um, maybe learn a little bit of something from our mistakes and 
also uh, the things that we have learned as we've gone through this uh, process so far. So uh, it is a learning curve. It's not something that you're going to do overnight and uh, and, and master it. <laughs> it uh, will take uh, a few ups and downs. Uh, you're going to lose some fish uh, unless you're just extremely lucky. But uh, you know, hey, good luck to everybody. Uh, this is a great way to grow greens, vegetables uh, all year round. Uh, you know, it's going to be really nice for us in the winter. Um, you know, to be able to still bring in uh, lettuces and uh, greens and that kind of thing. So, uh, good luck to everybody, and uh, talk to you soon.